Hey everyone, welcome to Quarantine Catcher's Workout number three. Uh, thank you for the enthusiasm. There's been over a thousand people join this group. I'm so excited to be working out with you guys on a daily basis, making the best out of this quarantine. If you have any questions or comments during the video, if you're live with me right now, shoot them over. I'll have my wife, Jamie, who's helping me read them to me. Um, otherwise, thank you for posting your videos later. I've been trying to get to as many as I can. Comment, like, you guys look great out there. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, today's workout I really wanted to be based on some of the things I saw in the videos as a kind of a consensus of what people are doing. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, start with a golf ball, we're going to do a little bit of receiving work. Put the golf ball in your throwing hand under your pinky. We're going to work on bare hand catching and you want to catch it in the pocket. The first thing I notice is a lot of guys are stabbing at the ball. If you stab at the ball uh, with a golf ball in your hand, you're going to have a hard time catching it. So especially if you have small hands, start with a golf ball. If you don't have a golf ball, put a sock in there. Uh, try another baseball. Get some receiving in. No matter where it is, don't just catch it. Catch it soft with those hands. Make it a strike. This is a little bit more of a subtle move than we worked on yesterday. When we're talking about moving the baseball. Mm -hmm. That's gonna happen sometimes, that's okay. If you have bigger hands, ditch the, ditch the golf ball, catch the first one, shift it over, catch the second one. You can keep that second ball in your hand, work on hand strength, and catching the ball right in the pocket. Just get a couple more here. The biggest thing I saw again with the receiving was guys were stabbing, going through the baseball this way. A little bit softer with the hands, let the ball come to you. One more, perfect. Now let's get into a little bit of blocking. The receiving and the throwing drills that I have today are a little bit more mellow, so I wanna take up the intensity, break a sweat with the blocking drills. We're gonna do up downs. I know these are everyone's favorite. Let's do sets of five. Drop into a squat right down the middle, get up as fast as you can. If you're not winded after those, I don't know who is. Well, I don't know what'll get you going. We're gonna do three sets of those before we move on to throwing. That was one. Set number two. Whew. Whew. It's nice here in Colorado. I don't know where you are, but I'm gonna get a sweat going here. One more time. You might've heard me breathing out when I went down there. That's a good habit to get into because it softens your body. If you breathe out as the ball hits you, the ball won't bounce off you as far. Now let's get into throwing drills for today. The thing I noticed about throwing drills today was again, punching through the baseball. I don't want you to do that. Let the ball travel to you. Even if you're young, if the pitcher's throwing 50 miles per hour, your arm's not gonna move 50 miles per hour once you catch it. Let that ball travel as fast as you can. Get it out of, your, out of your hand as fast as possible. The other thing I noticed, guys are catching the ball in their squat and then starting to go. It's not a catch and then throw motion. What I'd really love to see is you guys start to turn, start your throwing motion before the ball gets there. And that's what this drill is gonna do. So you're gonna be in your action stance, ready to go. And whoever's helping you out today is gonna roll the ball to you. As the ball comes and you have to feel it on the ground, Look what automatically happened. My left knee went in, my hips started to turn, my shoulders turned. I'm gonna feel this ball and get up to throw. And if you're in an area where you can throw, go ahead and throw it. So you're squatting, the ball gets rolled. Get the turn, get the turn going before the ball even gets to you. Get it in your hand, get it out. First round through today, we'll go bare hand. Second time through, we'll use the glove. Put two more here. If you don't have a glove on now, that's fine. Have your partner flip you a couple. Transition, but it's the same idea. Turn the knee, turn the hip, turn the shoulder before the ball gets there. We're gonna throw it now. Oh, sorry. Flip it in the air, please. Thank you. See how my body's halfway turned before the ball even gets to me? Means my body doesn't have to go nearly as far. One more. Perfect. 
Set number two, back to the receiving. Somebody asked during the... Um, oh, I got a question. What a back rep would look like on this drill. So that's this thing. A back rep? Yeah. For what? For this drill that we're doing right now. I don't now. understand. I don't understand the question. If you sent that question, uh, please help me understand what that means. Because I would like to answer it for you. Let's get back to the receiving drill. Put the golf ball back in your hand or baseball. If you were in your non-action stance last time, get in your action stance now. We're gonna go 10. Oh my. If you have big hands, if you're an older kid and you wanna get a little bit fancy, you could try this drill where you catch the one, shift it, catch the second. You can even try to catch a third. Can I demonstrate for that for them, Jim? If you want to get fancy with this, catch the one, shift it over, catch the second one. And then if you're really good, fit the third one in there. It's just about understanding where your hand is, where the pocket is for the glove. Oh, they said a bad rep. A bad rep for yes. the throwing drill. I think for this one. All right, so a bad rep for the throwing drill doesn't really apply here. We're really trying to overemphasize what we're doing with the turn. So you're just going to get a pitch in that location for the purpose of this drill. Good question, though. Back to the up-downs for the catching. Three sets of five again. That was one. I hope you guys aren't indoors where you're going to be pounding on the ground. One more time. Oh, I forgot to get up on that last one. All right. Third set, I'm going to turn to the side. Just to give you another view because who knows why. All right. Back to the throwing drill. Have your glove. Same idea. My glove's not very broken in, so I hope I can get a good transfer here. But the idea, turn the knee, hip, and shoulder as the ball's coming. Get six here. Was that three? Four? Four, I think. Two more. Last one on the ground. And a couple in the air just to get the, complete the drill. Get your body turned before the ball gets there. So your body has less distance to cover. Perfect. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. Do another couple sets if you still have a lot of energy at home. Also, I've partnered with Pro Baseball Insider to do these workouts. They're helping me host these. They're great people. They have a lot of great material for every position. A lot of free stuff on their website. And I've helped them create a perfect blocking checklist. Seven or 10, I forget how many, points of interest, points of things to think about on how to be in perfect form when you're blocking. I will post that link below this video once I stop panting from these <laughs> workouts. I hope you guys are working as hard as I am during this. I'll see you tomorrow.